Okay, so number three, uh, we just want to determine if it is linear or not. We don't have to put it in standard form, so let's simplify and see if we get linear or not. Uh, at first glance, it does appear to be linear, but let's simplify. So we have 7x, and then in parentheses, we have y plus 9 equals 11 minus 7y in parentheses, this will be 6 minus x. All right, so we're going to distribute 7x times both terms. So this will give us 7xy. So this is a problem. <coughs> Even though there's 1x and 1y and they have uh, no exponent, the fact that we're multiplying them together would make this nonlinear. Okay, so right now this is a problem. Um, so just be careful with that. And then 7x times 9 will give us a positive 63x. All right, and then bring down 11, and now we're going to multiply negative 7y times both terms. So negative 7y times 6 will give us a negative 42y, and then a negative 7y times negative x will give us a positive 7xy. Okay, so when I start moving everything and trying to put it in standard form, even though they don't ask that, we'll do it just to verify. I would have to subtract either way if I want to move this over here or move that to get like terms together I'm going to have to subtract the 7xy from both sides okay 7xy will cancel out over here and here so it gets wiped out so the problematic term has been eradicated so bring down the 63x equals 11 minus 42y and then at that point if you add the 42y that will give us um, 63x plus 42y equals 11. So I went ahead and put in standard form and we can see that it is definitely linear. So I'm going to mark linear. And then same thing for number four. We want to see if this one is linear. And there's nothing that we can do to simplify here. So there's an x term, there's a y term, and then there's one that's 10xy. And they have to have the same variable. So this one would need an a x and a y to be able to combine. This one would also need an x and a y to be able to combine with that one. So again, because we have this x times y here, that's the problem. And um, I think even if we try to factor it, it will still be non-linear. So this one is not going to be linear. 